Minecraft is not scary. Except maybe for that guy. So I installed From the Fog, a mod that adds Herobrine back to Minecraft. And they also added the Cave Dweller, Slenderman, these, these creepy eyes, whatever they are, and loads of other mods that make the game harder and scarier. And all I want to do is survive 100 days in hardcore. Usually I'm pretty confident when I do this, but I don't know much about these mods. I don't know what can hurt me, and I don't know how many times I'm going to get jump scared. Like even these. What are, what are these guys? Some random flies? At least they're not scary, but I should, I should probably avoid getting distracted. I, I need to get rid of... Sorry, sheep, but I, I'm gonna need wool tonight, and, and this is what we're doing. And of course I need iron, but I can't go underground, because down there lurks the cave dweller. And he's pretty creepy, and pretty fast. So I'm going to avoid him at all costs. Or at the very least, I want decent armor before I have to face him. Anyway, if I get rid of you... Okay, I'm telling you right now, I did not mine this tree. Alright? And look at it, it's disappearing. So, straight away, creepy things are happening. I came from over there. Yeah, this is why I don't like this. Anyway, we've <laughs> we've got three wool. We can make wooden leggings. Are you kidding me? Why would I not want to make wooden leggings? Let's do that. Oh, yes. Not going to protect me from the cave dweller, but better than nothing. I've got a bed. Now I need to get some food. I'd love to go down there, but look how scary it is. It's so dark. There's just red eyes in there. Oh man, why did I do this? Look, it's just silhouettes. I don't like this one, but if I could spot some iron, I would have grabbed it, but but yeah, I'm staying away. And instead, I'm, I'm going to get myself full wooden armor, because you know what? Why not? It's pretty cheap, and it offers at least some protection. I also need some stone for a furnace, and I can turn to a smoker and cook some food. We've got food. It's gone dark. So I'm gonna get some sleep and hopefully be okay. I did also see for a split second while I was in bed that there was two moons. That is that is very, very weird indeed. Anyway, day one survived. We've got some random things here and, and more here as well. What, what am I gonna do with these? Wait, can I hold on a second? We can get cobblestone or we could just break a block. Yeah, rocks, you, you, you're kind of just pointless to me. Oh my goodness, are you friend off? Oh my goodness, I just went down to half health. Okay, I, was, I, I think the wood armor saved me that. I didn't know if it was going to attack me. Thankfully, I'm still alive. And even the forest is a scary place in broad daylight. And whilst I continue exploring, I'd also like to thank Netflix for sponsoring this video. Yes, Netflix, I've, <laughs> I've hit the big time now. And did you know that Netflix is more than just a go-to spot for movies and series? Because they also have 80 mobile games included with the membership. So what I'll do right now is walk you through how to access games on the Netflix app. It's super easy and I've got a guide that makes it even simpler. On iOS, from the home screen of the app, swipe down to find the mobile games row. Scroll through the games until you find what you want to play, then tap on the game you want and then tap get game and you can now play games right from your Netflix app. Also right now GTA the Trilogy the definitive edition is now available exclusively on Netflix games. It's the classic GTA experience with the ease and convenience of Netflix. It's the same GTA we all love but with enhanced features for an even better experience. It's gaming made simple with no extra fees and no extra ads. And so there you go. Thank you once again to Netflix for sponsoring this video and I shall continue to see what I can find. There's more food over there but there is also a bear, so I just have to be very- My goodness, you're a very pale pig. You need to get more sun. <laughs> you're even worse? Okay, well, never mind. It's just very eerie in these forests. I don't know if it's because of the mist. What have we got here? What? What is this? I think I'm going to be saying that a lot. Why am I going down? <sighs> it's not going to end well, is it? Well, you know what? Day two. What's, what's, what is there to lose? God, I check this. Look how dark it is. How am I supposed to see anything? At least I've got some coal. That's, you know, that's something. Then I can make sticks. And I can make torches and at least suppress the darkness a little bit. See no iron. I just see mobs. I, I lied. I found iron. Right, let's just box myself in. Keep it nice and safe. There's at least eight pieces here as well, which is perfect. And there's more up there. There's a bit of lapis. I think I'll get it. But before that, I can see a guy with a, a shiny bow. I don't want to go near it. So I'll do some smelting. Craft a shield. And then... Bre what on earth is that? You know what? You know what? I'm just going to stay in here. Can I sleep? Please tell me I can sleep. Nope, it's not night time yet. Please tell me he's gonna go. I don't want him to come up here. What is- <gasps> Oh my goodness me gracious me! How do I get him out of here? Oh my god, is he gone? Oh, I haven't been jump scared in a long time, ladies and gentlemen. Flipping heck! I don't know why I'm putting myself through this. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's just gone really dark. Is that because that's gone up? Okay, I thought- Yeah, if I wasn't on edge before, now I am, alright? <laughs> Let's put this on. Wow, right, I'm going back. Is, is the coast clear now? Are we, are we alright? Is anybody else- I just- I think we're good. I think we're good. Right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh, man. My heart raced that I didn't know. Oh, now I'm getting shot. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll be okay. I've just got to deal with this fella over here. Way less menacing than Hero Bright. Why did I think? You know, I could have done 100 days of anything. And I decided to do From the Fog. If you haven't noticed, I, uh, apparently I jump scare easily. Right, I'm. <laughs> I don't want to go caving anymore, guys. Oh, there's a creep. You know what? I can deal with it. What's on earth? 
There's another one. Okay. It's just the way that the, the first they walk creepily and then they just blow blew up even though I wasn't near him. I don't like how dark it is. I, you know, I don't like anything. I'm leaving. See you later. All right. The lapis. I'll come back some other day. That guy really does hurt when he hits me. Is it dark outside as well? All right. Maybe I can sleep now. Okay. At least I can sleep. I just hear lots of ambient noises and footsteps. It's really. I don't like it at all. There's this other guy above me. Defeated. And let's get out of here. My goodness me. Right. We'll just build up with gravel, whatever. I can hear birds tweeting. Lovely. Just lovely. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, I was ready for it this time. All right. Are we good? <laughs> I was more ready for it this time. I need to stop looking at him. All right. If I see here, Brian, I've got to just not look in his direction because then he seems to come towards me. I hope that it's so foggy as well. Look at the mist. It's very strange. Anyway, right now I have just one goal. And that is to find a structure that's going to help me gear up because I really do not want to go back into the caves again. Not anytime soon, anyway. There is some cool light down here. I kind of want to see what it's about. Maybe water caves are the answer. I can go onto this magma. It's very, very dark down here. Let's get some light. Yeah, I don't know because probably whatever's out there can also swim as well. I know the cave dweller can. If I were into him, I am in trouble. And not to mention here, Brian, as well, who's going to get stronger as the days progress and the time in the world continues. It really is lovely, isn't it? Anyway, this looks like a more interesting place. I reckon if I climb this mountain, I'll be able to get a much better view. There's also plenty of coal up here, which is handy. Anything else? Just a spider. Look at his legs. My goodness. I just don't like not being able to see what's at the end of the cave. It re oh, it's a big one as well. Well, it feels like a big one. It's in, in reality, it's not. But there is plenty of coal, which is nice. As you can see, torches are going to be very, very important, which is why I need to get so much coal. If I run out of torches... Yeah, the game gets pretty terrifying. I'm just glad I made this bed on day one. So was it worth it? Well, to be honest, I can't see much because of all the fog. But look at how cute these are. They're like dogs of some sort. You want a bone? Come on. We've got a... Oh, this is such a cool dog. All right, this changes everything. I knew I kept those bones for a reason. Although the last time I had Hero Brian in a world... Yeah, it didn't end too well for my dog. Dog, sit down. Whoa, dog, move! Oh, no. Oh, no. If you kill my dog here, Brian, that's it. End of the road. Hero's absolutely fine. He's one of those dogs that apparently just can't be killed. He just killed my dog. And we found our first structure. Okay, though, at least we're making some progress. I don't know what it is. Oh, are you kidding me? Why did... Why did... What's on it? <laughs> why am I being... What am I being hit with? It really looked like a nice inviting structure. Now I've just been hit by some projectile. Where are they coming from? I'm just getting blind. Is it the pumpkins or something? I, I don't know. Uh, something's here. Oh, is it, wait, is it these the walls? What are you doing? Where? What on earth? What are you going on with your eyes? My goodness, mate, dog! Why don't you do something? My axe is just broke. Lovely. I have the one useless dog that exists in Minecraft. At least I've got rid of him. Why didn't you help? I don't know what is even down here, where they're all coming from, but you know, I don't want to stick around and find out. Instead, I found another structure. This one has to be better. Is it a village? Please be a village. It's a village. You know what? We're living here now. This is our new home, all right? Come on, Fido, or whatever you want to be called. I don't know. This is where we live. I love your floor, by the way, good sir. I love this entire building. And anything to ransack? Bread. All right, nice. Well, that's better than nothing. I'm also going to switch beds because I kind of like the yellow one better. There's books in there. I think it's worth it. Did I see something that I don't know? I, I'm, I'm probably seeing things. Anyway, books in here, fantastic. Let's go and grab some. I need, to, I need another axe, really. Oh, look at this, even ones with upgrade. Can I get them? What have we got in here? Prop one. Oh, nice. And what else here? Efficiency one. That's cool. And paper in a chest. I'm not going to need paper at the moment. I know eventually for a lecture I will. But I feel like that's a long, long way off. Right now, I'm just looking for iron, maybe diamonds. Bread. Yep. Yeah, can't, can't say no to that. Ha! Okay, that's another piece. Brilliant. We've got two. More bread, a bucket, and torches. Actually quite useful. Not normally, but it is this time. Oh, nice. There's ender pearls, lapis, gold. These villagers really must hate me. Oh, wow. Okay. I, what is this? It's a necklace. So I can actually put it on right here and it increases the length of invincibility. It's also a parkour puzzle. I'm not going to say no to this. There better be some good loot at the end. Oh, nice. Let's go ahead and grab that. And I walk right past iron. Okay, this is starting to become very worthwhile. Going to get myself a new axe crafted. And I also need to keep my eye out for an anvil if possible. More emeralds, more bread. And I am also going to sleep. I mean, I kind of feel safe up here. I don't want this village to get destroyed by whatever scary things come out at night, though. And the parkour just continues. Till I reach the top, get some gold. And... Oh, look at this. Can deflect... Okay, this kind of looks like it could be useful. I only have a wooden helmet at the moment, so it's, it's probably better than that. It's actually way better. It does an entire extra armor point. Okay, fantastic. You know what? Call me crazy, but I think I'm not too far away from being ready to go caving again. And probably get even more... What on earth has happened to my eyes? Is that what I look like when I put on the helmet? Yeah, this is, this is absolutely awful. That's the scariest thing I've seen today. And I've seen some pretty scary things. Oh my goodness, I just realized. Free iron. I'm... 
Oh my goodness, you know what else? I just realised I'm being watched. Maybe the golem has a guardian. I didn't know about that. I do not like that. I just see Herobrine in the background. I think we got away. Instead, I'll just collect some food. Oh my, he keeps moving as well. You know what? Come on then. Bring it on. I'm ready for you. Is he gone? I think so. If this is what he's doing on day five, I hate to think what he's going to be doing on day 50. Anyway, I can now get rid of this fella. There we go. Did he drop some iron? He did. What on earth is attack? Whoa! What is going on with that villager? Look at his eyes! What's on earth? Right, what have I got here? I need to I need to slow him down. Right, you get in there. Right, what's on earth has happened? What are you doing? Bro, your eyes. All right, just look at me. All right, what is going on? I'm going to have to get rid of you, but this is, uh, this is not what I wanted to do. All right, but we can't. I've started a raid. What is going on? Guys, I'm sorry. It was here, O'Brien, okay? He's really messing with me. I don't know. I, you know what? I'd, I'd rather go in the caves at this point. What is going on with your eyes? Why are they so googly? Like, seriously, look at him. He's probably giving me the side eye there. Now they're both giving me the side eye. All right, you know what? Just, just get out of the boat. I've got to deal with this. Look at the way you guys run as well. You even... I, I mean, it's cool animations, I guess, but I'm, I'm really not ready for this on day five. My goodness, look at your eyebrows. He's got his angry eyebrows. <gasps> okay, okay. You know what? I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm sorry, village. I came... I took all your stuff and then killed your only guardian and started a raid. Maybe I am the real monster here. And there's another structure. You know what? Anything's better than where I've just been. But I do need to get some food. The harvest moon rises. Better crop growth rates. Okay, that's that's good. Where is this moon? What happened to you? Is that my dog? Ah, oh, you turned to a full-on wolf at night. That's crazy. Really lose some weight. I don't like the way there's two moons. I mean, that's just creepy. No, I don't like the way it's dark. Who is that? What is he doing? Go to sleep, SP. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Please sleep. Please sleep. That's all I ask. Just sleep. 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 Okay. I don't know who it is. Get out. Get out. Of, get out of the chat and run. Leave everything behind. Okay. I don't know what I saw. I really don't know, and I don't want to know. Oh, you're normal again. Maybe you're only useful at night. Anyway, all I know is I need to just stay well away from anyone like that. If he comes after me, then it is without a doubt the end of SP737. Although my food is over there, I left my bed over there. I do kind of need to go over there. What is that? Look at the size of that fish. Wow, it's like a... I don't know what it is. Okay, SP, be brave. Whatever it is, I'm sure you can outsmart it. Let's just get blocks so we can build if we need to. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is a prime example of why I am sleeping every night. I, I stay awake for two seconds and look what happens. Is that a green pig? I'm sorry, I could understand the other calls. Why have we got a cream pig? I have no idea, but it looks really cool. I, I kind of want to eat him. Whoa, an elephant. You know, it's cool to see something that's, that's kind of big and scary, but not too... I, I think they do attack you if you attack them, so I ain't going to risk that. And yes, it's, it has started raining, which makes things even worse in my opinion. I don't know what comes out in the, in the rainstorms. More importantly, I want to know what's down here. What on earth? Wait, can we attack... Okay, I don't know why I couldn't see them before in the last one, but this time I can actually see what's attacking me. Okay, well, let's 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 deal with them then. They're really not that bad at all, are they? Also, I'm pretty sure my helmet is actually deflected. Oh, yeah, they turn to look at you when you hit them. Interesting. I think I've dealt with them all, but there's more down there. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Why is there so many down there? Okay, I can see. Okay, there's a lot. Wait, what is down here? Okay, we've got a corridor. I mean, maybe I can just... Maybe I can get through this. As long as there's nothing else down here, I don't I don't mind. I can deal with these. Okay, I've made it to the top of the tower, which was a waste of time, apparently. Seems like all the good stuff is down at the bottom where it's dark and scary. Of course it is. Just gonna craft a few more torches, running a little bit low. Okay, there is there is something here. Golden apple, okay. I don't know what the dust does. I'll take suspicious stew. That looks very useful. Yeah, I take it back about there being nothing useful in here. Clearly there is. Which means I'm gonna keep going down lower. Okay, there's a lot of stuff down here. You know, should we just should we just run for it? How far down does this go? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Spider. Okay, you know, why am I scared? It's just a spider. I deal with spiders. It's everything else that's probably down here that I don't like. Like, random rooms like this. What's the point of it? I said my axe break, which is annoying because it, it, it was an iron one. Come to the clock. It's the middle of the night. I, sh I should probably get some sleep then. Because I don't trust what's up there at night. Don't really like what's down here. But at least I know I can survive it. And there's probably some loot down here to be had. A smite book and name tag. What a waste of time. And I'm back outside again. All that for a measly golden apple. And at this point, I'm going to grab a bit more food. <gasps> it's you again. Right, come on. Shields up. That's it. What you got? That's right. Okay, I can't hit you. Is that... It's really? And you're not going to leave me? I think we just outplayed him there. He's going to have to get stronger if he wants to defeat me. Okay, I don't know. I nearly fell down there. But anyway, I'm going to continue exploring and see what I can find. What on earth is that? Is that a whale? I should probably avoid. Do, do these guys attack you or anything? Only one way to find out. I'm going in. Go on then, big fella. Okay, wait. Do you just not attack? Okay. I, I feel evil. Either way. Okay, he's following me now. I'm sorry. But yeah, either way, it was a pretty cool thing to see. And I've made it to land. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know because it's... 
generally not as safe. But land is the best place to find some very, very cool stuff. Also, apparently I lost my dog. Oh, well, we'll be okay. I know I shouldn't go in. I know I'll probably die. But this cave does look cool. Look at it. Uh, what am I doing? I'm going down. Oh, wait, it opens up. Wow, look at the size of this. Why is there a random redstone torch? That's usually a sign of Hero Brian, not a sign I want to see. And the cave dweller's down here. Okay, well, that was terrible. As I was saying, the cave dweller is down here as well. I, I, I just don't like the fact that I cannot see through the darkness. What I do know is I should be able to safely get some sleep. And I'm going to smelt this little bit of iron to make an iron pick. <gasps> I hate it. I really... <laughs> He just turned around and he's there. I knew he was nearby. I saw the torch. I hate this game. I really do. And why, why am I still getting scared? I don't know. And the worst is still yet to come. Although despite that, this cave does look insane. I'm just on edge because I know that at some point that cave dweller is going to come out and then he is very deadly. So I should probably make sure I have plenty of cooked food. And then we delve deeper. I just want to try and get some diamonds. It's just the fact that it's so dark, but it looks like a promising bit of cave. I'm really just a sitting duck down here, aren't I? I'm going to craft some more torches. And we found diamonds. Fantastic. Okay, I can't see a thing. Put a torch down, SB. Grab these. It's just, is it just one? Please be two. I do feel like at this point I'm overstaying my welcome. Underwater is always a good place to find diamonds. But it's not looking too good down here. And if I'm not careful, I'm going to drop. Wow, it is pitch black if I take that torch out. I'm definitely not a fan of that. I'll just grab a little bit of iron. This makes caving feel like the first time I ever played Minecraft. I think it's the darkness, the fact that I just don't know what's going to appear down there. Yeah, it's, it's pretty stressful. But I'm almost out. I've got a lot of iron and I could leave. I could leave happy with what I've got. Or I could risk everything and check out this part of the cave, which could have more diamonds. It's got to be worth it, hasn't it? Another redstone torch. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, we know who's going to be down there. It is nighttime. Can I sleep tonight? Oh, I've got a lunar event stopping me from sleeping tonight. I don't like that one bit. That means I have to survive whatever comes out at night. And the moon, the two moons, should I say, are completely red. That means that a lot more things are going to spawn. I don't know what else is going to spawn. What I do know is I can probably stay alive if I'm on the ice. What is that? Are they just some eyes? Oh my goodness, they are so creepy. <gasps> and there he is. What's he doing? Where's he going? Why is he just looking at me then going to the forest? Why is he light around him? I feel safe on the ice because I know I can move fast. But it doesn't mean that there aren't creepy things lurking in the shadows. Found a ruined portal. It's definitely worth visiting. Oh, we got night vision goggles? No way. Do these... <gasps> Whoa, that's insane! Oh, that's a game changer, ladies and gentlemen. That is an absolute game changer. Suddenly, I don't feel so scared to go into the forest at night. I know what's out there. I found some endermen. I think I'm going to try and get some pearls. I'm mainly... Hero Brian's there, but I'm mainly worried about... Is that, is that Hero Brian over there? No, it's not. I'm mainly worried about the man from the fog. He appeared the other night. If he appears again and starts chasing after me, I am in massive trouble. All in all, that's been a pretty successful night because I'm still alive and... Oh my goodness, look. Well, at least I've got some goggles on now, but they look very weird. Anyway, well, that's good. Although I've completely lost that cave I was going to go down. So I'm going to try and find a new one. Can't say no to an emerald. And I could go into this cave here. I go down and I can I can see everything. It's, it's, it's not exactly that scary, is it? And so since I want this video to be a challenge, since I want to be a little bit terrified, goodbye, goggles. You got me through that night, but I ain't keeping you. I want to peer into a cave and feel like I'm playing Minecraft again for the very first time. Trees with no leaves, that's never a good sign. As well as redstone torches. Yep, I know exactly who's been here. And there's a cave right by, but does it go anywhere? It looks like it does. What are you? What's on earth? It's like a termite. Get him, I can't see. Wait, how am I supposed to do this? I can't... Wait, how am I supposed to do this? Wait, if I get attacked, I'm not gonna be able to see. And if I can't see, that is going to be a very, very big problem. <gasps> What on earth? I just see some eyes at the end of a corridor. That's not what you want to see. Maybe I prefer being blind. Also, what is this? Cockroach wing fragment. Okay, I don't think I'm going to keep it. There's more I Look at him. Like, who are you? I, I just don't like it. And that's why I threw away the night vision goggles, because it's better to not know what it is. There's a lot more iron down here. Let me put a torch down just to be safe. And what have we got here? A little settlement. An anvil's actually going to be very, very useful. A bed. 
And it's in the chest, a bit of fish. I'm not, I'm not gonna actually have any of it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get it cooking. Just, uh, just to make sure. There we go, that's good. What's in here? Ooh, more iron. Gold as well, very useful. Let's get that in the blast furnace. And I wonder what happened to the guy whose campsite this was. Is he still alive? Well, we don't know. Or did something happen to him? Is he now lurking these caves? Who knows? Oh, no, it's night time, so I'm going to sleep in his bed. And I'm also going to smelt all this iron whilst I'm here, as well as cook all my food. And I'm going to add a few torches. I just don't like the fact that I look across and I see nothing but darkness. And the fact there's so much coal down here is actually very useful because I have run out of it. It's usually while mining that I let my guard down and I don't want that to happen. Crazy how darkness just completely changes the way you play Minecraft. All of a sudden, I'm having to constantly craft torches, which means I'm having to constantly mine coal. What's going to use this iron to craft a chest plate. That's going to give me more armor points. <gasps> I hear a noise. I don't know what it is, but I don't want to stick around here, so I'm going to gather up the blast furnace, grab my crafting table, and take my food with me. And then we go lower into this darkness. What is this candle? Another of these places. Anything good here? Just deep slate this time? And a diamond pickaxe. Okay, that is very useful indeed. I'll also take the coal and another smoker. But I wonder who lived here. This is a very, very strange cave full of mysteries and full of questions. There's another one with another diamond pick and then just random things. Sugar, nothing in there. What? What is? What's going on? Wow, it goes even deeper. We're like at a ravine. And I want to go lower, so... Yep, I'm risking it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, lapis. Well, that all worked out, didn't it? As I was saying, I'm risking it and I'm digging down. And it is also night time again, so I'm going to get some sleep. I've just come to magma. Where am I? Diamonds! Oh, brilliant. There's at least two here. I can hear lava, so if I can just get to it, then I can collect obsidian. Perfect. What is that noise? What was that? I have no idea, but it's stopped for now. I just feel like I'm not alone down here. All I need is four obsidian, then I can craft this and get protection on my armor. I keep hearing that noise go off. What is it? You know what? I'm heading up to go and find out. What is this? Is this what it is? Okay, don't do this to me, lava, please. I wonder if I can mine it. And then that's, that's that. I have no idea what I'm seeing. What I do know, though, is that it's night time. And at this point, I need more diamonds, so I'm just going to continue doing a bit of strip mining. That's more found. Perfect. With that, I can get a diamond sword, which will probably be very helpful. It also has sharpness on it. And I've stumbled on a bit of a cave. Kind of better, because there's lava everywhere, so I can see a bit more. I don't like these things. Wait. Do, do these hurt you? I don't even know. They're super weird. And yes, yeah, the caves that look like this that kind of scare me. Because you just have no idea what's ahead. At least there's more diamonds. If I can get a diamond chest plate, I'll be very, very happy. I'm also collecting up any bits of gold that I see for golden apples later on. Another of these little bases with gold. And a new iron axe. <laughs> I kind of needed that. And a dungeon. Fantastic. Come on, game. Give me something amazing. Gold. Okay, that's good. Aqua affinity. I like that. And this is fire aspect. That means I can get fire aspect to level three if I want to. That's pretty useful. Although before that, I'll need a lot of levels and a fire aspect to book. Speaking of levels, I should mine up the spawner. Oh, what? <gasps> what have I just stumbled across here? I'm not sure I want to find it. Oh, this is getting a little hairy. I just hate the fact that all I see is what? Okay, it's him behind me as well. Why? I, I see this little camp here. Maybe this is a little safe spot. Just cobbled deep slate. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Coal, a diamond axe. Okay. And my shield just broke. Okay. This is definitely the time to run. Let's just get the torch in my offhand. I need to make another one and I need to make it fast. There we go. Put that there. More gold in here. Look at all that raw gold blocks as well. And a brand new anvil too. I'm going to make a little safe spot so that I can use this moment to try and upgrade my stuff just a little bit more. Prop two chest plate. Sharpness two sword. And with a few more levels, I can make it sharpness three. <gasps> why, do I, why do I get scared every time? But the reason I've come back down here is I just feel like it's going to be a great place for diamonds. What on earth is that? I don't even know to know what that is. That is one creepy looking thing. You know, there could be all the diamonds in the world down here, but I don't think it means I want to stay. Oh, I've just been falling down a hole. Okay, you're safe, SP. Just, just box yourself in. Everything's good. Music disc of all things. I don't know how that happened. <gasps> what on earth? Where did you come from? Oh, it's the worm guy. No, leave me alone. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Actually, we're all right. Wait. What on earth is it? I really don't know, but you can get out of here. I just want to go to sleep. What is that? It's some sort of rock monster. Friend or foe? Well, it seems all right. The longer I stay in this cave, the less I like it, to be honest with you. I'm definitely not ready to meet something like the cave dweller. I think it's probably my best interest if I can mine out. I can also afford sharpness three, which is nice, but not nice enough to make me want to stay. I'm out. Oh, 
The beautiful sunshine. And now I can peacefully smelt my gold, get Pro2 leggings, and start mining trees so I can get some apples. So far it's going pretty well, got six apples. And I have more than enough gold now as well to craft them. And I'm gonna keep chopping trees till I have a few more. Pillagers. Pillagers in the forest. Although I'm not gonna worry about them, I'm just, just gonna avoid. 13 apples is a great position to be in. And there's a couple more apples dotted about, which I'll keep for good measure. Beautiful rain. Hero Brian, come on then. Yeah, we know what you're gonna do now, that's it. I'm just not looking forward to the later phases where he does more than just teleport at me. Killer whales, not getting in the water with them, because they do eat penguins. What is this? Wow. What a cave. And I can see a diamond down there. Okay, I've gotta go for it. I've got nothing to lose. So I had better go and get it. I say I've got nothing to lose, other than my life. I just run to here, mine it up, and there's some presents over there. Well, I can't say no to that either. Diamond, oh my goodness, there's a lot of diamonds in there. Anything else? I just want... <gasps> See, that's why I'm trying to be careful. Anything there? Nope, nothing. All right, let's just hide behind it there. What on earth? It's not a chest. I thought it was a chest. What are you? Okay, it's, it's got um teeth. Let's get rid of him. There we go, we got, we got rid of the chest. That was a, a weird situation. What is he wearing his head? It's like a candle. Now the real question is, can I find even more diamonds down there? I mean, it looks promising, doesn't it? There's a lot of these around, these little things. And prop three. Oh my goodness. All right, new plan. We make a diamond chest plate and we make it prop three. That is very, very helpful. And then exploration can continue. I don't know what this is, but it just seems to be a random deposit of some sort of rock. So I'll leave it alone and instead see if the caves go lower, which it doesn't seem to in this direction, but I've yet to check down here. Another diamond, fantastic. In fact, there was two here. There's still plenty more to explore over here. Is it just me or is Herobrine infecting? Oh, it's Herobrine himself. And the mobs as well have been infected. Yeah, there seems to be more and more of them. You know, this is the kind of place that the cave dweller would be. I mean, yes, we've got Herobrine here. We know that he's lurking. Yeah, and the cave dweller is one guy that I just don't want to run into because he's very fast, very creepy looking, and very powerful. I just seem to be finding these little campsites everywhere. What have we got here? Gloves. I feel like somebody's watching me, but I'm just gonna put them on. All right, can I put them on my hands? Apparently not. I can hear other ambient noises as well. And it goes into a water cave. Let's do it. So I said water cave that leads to the surface. You know, maybe not such a bad idea because things were getting a little bit dicey down there. What do we have here? Just a nice little shack. And what's inside? Anything? A barrel? I mean, extra bread. You can't say no. An apple. Oh, I kind of like that. And that's about it. Not too interesting. Another cave and another pair of eyes and even more diamonds. I can just feel... Like something bad is gonna happen. Like it's a combination of the ambient noises and just how big and dark this cave is. Wow, that's a big cave. What is this spawner? A red one? What's it spawn? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I had to ask, didn't I? I just had to ask. And I'm poisoned now. Wow. I'm gonna use some gold to repair my helmet and then we go in. We get rid of you. And from there, the rest is easy. It seems that there is no red spawner anymore. There is a creeper head and then... Does this drop something? I, I don't even want that. This flipper's here. Could be worth grabbing and equipping. Ah, another diamond. Another of those red spawners. I wonder if I can mine it. And the answer is... Uh, apparently no. The longer I spend on it, the more stuff I find, which is pretty good. So I, I, I can't complain, but I also just cannot wait to leave. This could get me looting four. That could be useful. <gasps> it's him. I've been expecting you, big fella. Bring it on then. Come on then. Oh, I got Okay. Did I get him? I had all those gapples. The sword did the business in the shield. Oh, okay. He came out of nowhere, but <laughs> the cave dweller has been defeated and he, he might have looked like he wasn't that scary. Oh, find some diamonds as well. That, you know, that's a deserved reward. Yes, he might have looked like he wasn't dangerous or scary, but here's a clip of the mud's creator getting absolutely destroyed by one. I just made sure I was very, very well prepared before I ran into him. Another diamond. You know what? At this point, I think I'm pretty happy to leave. I've got full diamond armor. I've got five diamonds. Got all these tools. The cave dweller's been defeated. You know, what more could I want? Well, I suppose another diamond never hurt anybody. But other than that, I am definitely ready to go back to the surface. And it's a thunderstorm outside. Why do I feel like that's going to be bad? What are you? Oh, wow. With these flippers, I move so fast in water. Well, that is very nice. I can't say this storm is great. It always makes me feel like something bad's going to happen. What is this? A oh, little... Little seat. What is this? These kind of places never look good at the best of times. Never mind in the middle of a thunderstorm. Is anybody in there? Why is there a creeper sneaking up on me? Okay. What have we got going on? Now? We've got to go underground. There's not really anything that exciting to steal. Anything in the attic? Just a lot of red parts. What is this? Can't say I'm a fan, but it's it's better than being out there. What are you? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm seeing now. What are you? Okay. 
Why does every time I open a door, there's something behind it? Well, at least there's nothing behind this one. Let's just go up here. Anything in the attic? <gasps> okay, let's just go back down. Maybe there's something more interesting underground. What does it say? Super strength. I've been working on a potion to give me strength in beyond that of a well-known potion made from the powder blaze. I'll be testing it on a local villager tonight. Okay, well, let's uh, let's see. Is this is this what's gone on? He's been... What on earth is that? Is this you, Doc? Okay, I've just left my sword in there as well. Somebody open up. Please, let me out. I can't get out now. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to put you down, mate. Or get back in here. Okay. <laughs> How am I now trapped in here? You're going to have to let me out, thank you. And then if I just swim and then break down the door, we're out and we're leaving. Strange places, experiment went wrong. I'd rather be out here in the middle of the night. At least it stopped raining. That's better than nothing. And I can explore the spooky woods. What, you know what I should just do? I should just go to sleep. Why, why put myself through this? That's much better. Beautiful broad de Oh, of course. Mate, matey boy's over there though, isn't he? Just always watching. But you see, he has no idea that I've seen him. I know where you are. And I'm not sticking around to say hello. I am sailing the seven seas. Still gonna face Slenderman later on in the video. Yeah, this is not gonna be fun. Plus the Night Dweller or Man from the Fog or whatever it is that I saw earlier on. All in all, Herobrine and the Cave Dweller are probably the least scary things of this mob pack. What? On earth is that coming into view? It's pretty massive, whatever it is. There's lots of banners on it. What? Okay, that's just a bird. Never mind. And there's lots of banners on it too. Should we, should we just... Okay, it's just gone dark very, very quick. So I'd better go to sleep. I think I've found the entrance to this place. What does it say at the front? I don't know, but I can see these guys. Look at their eyes as well, the way they'll run over. Okay, I will press this. It opens up. Can we do it again? Oh, we can. Get rid of the pillagers and see what lies in here. I should also get rid of these spawners. That'll help, won't it? And what do we have upstairs? Diamonds. That's what we've got upstairs. And I believe this is something that you can pick up and you can put items in it. Yes, the sack. Okay, that's going to be very, very useful because I'm constantly running out of space. But not anymore. Also, why is there a Ravager in here? And I have not got my sword handed. Is there a Ravager there as well? What is this? There is. What are you doing to start the... Why are, where am I? Is Zoglin's trapped? I'm very confused, but I'm, I'm just gonna have to get rid of some of you guys. I'm, oh my goodness, there's good stuff here. Nugget of experience. What's this do? I think I'll right click it and see. Oh, it just gives you XP. Why is there a slime trapped in there? Can we get him out? <laughs> wait, it's just a tiny slime in there now. And then, oh, I can get totems. Oh, this is. Wait, he used the totem? You're kidding me. And why have I just lost all my health? Okay, he used a totem, but not the totem. That could save my life later on. I don't know where all the Vex are spawning from. There's so many, like, creatures in the cages, too. The villagers have been hero brined. Oh, dear, that's not good. And all the vexes are really driving me crazy. They are, will not leave me alone. Oh, here we go. Yep, I've been kicked out. And I mean, if nothing else, I've got a totem now. So maybe, just maybe, I'm ready to take on the night. Although it is basically pitch black out here. I can't say I'm a massive fan, but I want to see the night dweller. Although the sun is rising, looks like there was no sign of him that night. Don't worry, I'll try again tomorrow night, and not only do I want to find him, but I want to defeat him the same way that I did to the cave dweller. Oh my goodness, there's another massive structure. Not the same place that I've just been to either. This one's even bigger and I have no idea what it is. Doesn't really seem to be much here, actually. But considering how absolutely massive it is, you'd expect there to be something. I just have to find it. I just have to find it. What have we got in here? Oh, books. The most noteworthy one is Feather Falling 4 and Strength. Now that could actually be useful for the battle that's going to happen tonight. Well, I kind of hope it's going to happen tonight. Part of me doesn't, part of me doesn't. And I think that's this place fully explored. So I'm going to wait on this mountain for night to fall. The darkness is descending, so let's head into the woods to find this guy. When all you can see is two eyes, you just don't know what it's gonna be. All I do know is that it's not the man that I'm looking for. What is this up here? Oh, it's a massive village, perfect. I can seek refuge here as I lie in wait for the mysterious man. And yet another night has passed. And I'm actually quite low on pork chops, so I shall spend the day rectifying that. Oh my goodness, what on earth just happened there? All I wanted was a pig. What on earth is going on? You can't do anything in this game nowadays. And I wonder if you can eat gorilla. No, I, I, I can't do it. Just look at them. I just feel evil. Pigs, on the other hand, hero brine or not, <laughs> no problem. Well, here we go again. It's getting tonight. Nice to get a bit more food. And the hunt can continue. And I then spent the next three nights exploring and searching for this man to appear. Until this happened. <gasps> it's him! Oh my goodness, is it? I'm not ready for this, right? Gapple up, SP. Gapple up. Brace yourselves now for a fight. Let's get some torches down. Come on then, buddy. Bring it on. Here he is. I don't know what kind of damage he does, but he hasn't landed a hit. Okay, now he has landed a hit. All right, we've got people shooting us. I tell you what, I'm winning this. Come on then. Oh, man to man. Do you want a bit of a fist? Ah, you're not so tough now, are you? Actually, he's actually not that bad. I can take him all day. Can I run from him? Is he faster than me? 
I don't even know if he's faster than me. Okay, maybe he is faster than me. I don't like the, the noise that he's making, but... Oh, he's a piece of cake. Come on, then. Okay, now actually... Is he gone? Oh, I should have defeated him. He's run away. Well, at least I know that the Night Dweller can also not handle me. I keep calling him the Night Dweller. He's actually called the Man from the Fog, but yeah, we handled him anyway. That's the main thing. And that's why I got myself some good armor. I feel like next, my goal should be to try and face Slenderman. Although that is probably also a very scary proposition. Another interesting looking building. Let's check it out. What's inside? Ah, oh, well, there's books. I could always do with books. What about... Okay, there's a door. More books up here. We've got these two. More experience as well. Always useful. And a random villager up here. Hey, buddy, what are you doing at the top? Oh, a gapple. Nice, that's good. And slow falling. I mean, I don't really need the slow falling. But there's a couple of sharpness twos. You know what that means. Sharpness three and sharpness four. And I can put Deb Strider on my boots. Well, that's been a nice little find. And I know that the slender forest will generate in plains biomes, which is why I'm kind of hanging around in this area in the hopes that I stumble across one and everything that comes with it. I've made it to another village, which is good because I have been starting to run a little low on food. So turn these hay bales into bread will boost me up nicely. And I can also get a bit of extra beef as well. Look at how cool this build is. Wow, I love what you got going on in here, mate. Especially since I can take some free food as well. And not to mention all the coal. And what on earth is that? What is it coming into view? Oh, wow. Look at the size of it. It's an actual building. This is well worth exploring. I feel like it's littered with traps. There's one of them spawners in the middle. Well, we know what's going to happen when I get too close. Can I... Oh, it's coming. Here we go. Oh, and I've got mining fatigue. Oh, this is not good. Thank goodness these guys are attacking each other. That really makes life easier for me. That's it. You, you do that. I've, yeah, I've, I'm kind of a little bit hurt. What does this say? I found this mighty maze on my travels. And so apparently once I'm in, which I am, didn't expect it to bring me down like this. There's five levers for me to try and find on this first level. Not to mention all the weird noises coming from down here. What is that? I don't even want to know. There is a button here. I have no idea what's going to happen if I press it, but let's, let's find out. Okay, wait, did I get strength? Oh, that's useful. Can I get it multiple times? Oh, okay, that, that could be very handy. Although, I move really, really slow when I get it as well. What if I can swim my way through this gap? Yes, I can. But I can't get it through there. I'm guessing something is in here. I... Okay, it's those fellas. If you get too near, they will grab you. I don't have any projectiles. I... That's what I need. Only an idiot would come down here and not bring a bow. Hopefully, I can find... So oh, hold on a second. I don't know what I just got splashed with. Weakness. Great. But... There's string down here, and if I can find one more piece, I can make a bow, although those guys don't look too friendly down there. I can't really- I could get through here with water. Let's deal with you. Only dropped a bone, could have done with more arrows. It turns out I can get through if I crouch underneath, fantastic! Oh man, there's a spawner down here, okay, there's a lot of them. Let's get a torch down, just like playing Santa time, but I can't break the spawner, unfortunately. But I have at least got some slowness arrows. Definitely need water to get through that gap. This really is a very strange place, isn't it? And here we have one of the worst spawners, fantastic. Here we go. Let's just get back this way. There's really nowhere for me to go. And I'm kind of weak. Okay, let's um, let's just eat. We don't have to use a gapple, but let's eat up. And I am also now in a position... Well, I was going to say where I can craft a bow. I've just realised <laughs> I can't break this now. Well, this is a problem that only has one way to fix. Slowly but surely break it. There we go. We're in. And I can water bucket through this bit. I don't know where the mobs have gone. Unless they all poison themselves, which would be nice. Anyway, we, we, we carry on. And I can now use this opportunity to grab a bit of string and make the bow. And I might regret this, but from there I can also put power 3 on it. Although that does mean I now have to spend ages mining this. Okay, they just fall. I was hoping that it would break. Well, instead I'll uh, I'll just mine it with my fist. And it's done. Finally. I'm never placing that down again. The crafting table can stay there. The, the chicken will guard it. And I need to get back to searching for these five levers. I'm sure they can't be too hard to find. Look at that. A diamond and more iron. And I've also found the first lever. Fantastic. Now to check one of the other areas. Found another chest with a spawner. What on earth is that? Okay, I am... <laughs> what just happened to me? That was... That, that, that was just... That did make my hair stand on end a little bit, but we're, we're okay. Nothing bad happened, really. It was just all a bit strange. Oh, well, this looks nicer. Yeah, a bit, a bit more space. And another lever. So that's two down, three to go. My goodness, there's about 70 of them all stuck there. Well, it certainly makes my life easier. Better be something good after all of these. In the end, it didn't seem worth it. Now that I've got the bow, I think I can handle whatever's down here. I've just got to keep my distance. Okay, I don't really want to poke my head too much. If a crocodile gets hold of me, it's very difficult to escape. Okay, I'm not actually hitting it like that. And I can see a lever down there. Okay, I need to get to that. Put a torch down so more things don't spawn. And then we get these bad boys. Are they stuck? Oh, this could be perfect. If they're stuck down there, we can... Oh, yes. I think he is stuck. Oh, there's a few of them. Okay. Hopefully he is, because otherwise I'm in trouble. 
Is that all of them? Okay, it's just one left. I can flick lever number three and get some good loot too. I can't see anything else in here and I can't see a way to get out other than crawl into here and flick in the trap door. This is another section I haven't been to before. What have we got in here? This is a cool looking room. I shouldn't have just jumped straight in like that. It's got diamonds, it's got obsidian, and most importantly, a lever. Plus a loot in two soft. Maybe that's going to be handy. I think I'll take it with me. Or is there a way through here? If I can, yeah, if I can sneak under here, I can. All we have is just rows and rows of pressure plates. I don't know what these do. Do we just go for it? Okay, they burned me. Um, <laughs> we made it across. What is at the end? Some sort of bookcase room. Okay, what was that all about? They just came out of nowhere. Let's let's deal with them. I said, I'm fine. You're in there. I'm in here. Right, they've been dealt with. Now, what am I looking for in here? I'm guessing a lever. That's what you'd expect to be in here anyway. Or a power three book. That means I can get a power four bow, which would be handy. But it looks like I, there isn't a lever anywhere. What's that all about? Okay, I was wrong. There was one above the chest. I just had to venture through. And I think at this point, I have clicked all five. I don't know what happens next, but I shall get back to the main area and see. I don't think this was here before. I've done quite a bit of exploring. I don't remember this gap. Okay, this is new. Maybe this is what the levers opened up. Is there an easy way down? Do I MLG it? I'll just gracefully go down because I don't want to really... I don't know what's down here, put it that way. Wow, look at this. Oh, the snakes are out, eh? But yeah, it does look very cool down here. I can see over there that there's... Okay, well, there's, there's things guarding it, but there is chests as well with... Okay, some nice stuff. Let's use it all up. I'm actually going to get rid of the shield, put this totem here, because there's another totem in there. As we said, there really is good stuff down here, and it just continues into here. What is this? Who is this? The Pharaoh of the Labyrinth. Okay. Okay. Um, I didn't know you were going to be here. Thankfully, you're extremely slow, and I can just keep critting you out. Oh, now I get shot in the back. I just lost a lot of health there. Let's just gapple up. I've worked out I can hold him back with water, and then just keep hitting him. There we go, we got him, fantastic. Water straps for the win. What's in this, oh wow, there's some beautiful loot here. That was all pretty productive. I'm gonna have to leave those two things here. I don't know how I escaped now, because I can't mine my way out. I, I think I'm just gonna have to tower it. Okay, well this has got me back up to here. And from here, yeah, I can just build up there. Oh, it's beautiful to be outside again. And I can now continue in my hunt for Slenderman. Well, this is a nice little find, another of those pouches. I mean, what's in it isn't exactly exciting. But the pouch itself will be very, very useful. I've also just realized they're called sacks, not pouches. Oh my god. Well, what did he do? Oh, I forgot about him. I, I forgot he was still in this world. Stalking me all of the time. Anyway, mistake has been cooked. So I can continue searching. I'm no expert, but this doesn't look like a biome that I have been before. What does this say? Leave me alone. Wait, can I can I get these? Oh, what do I get from? A slender app. Okay, Tim. Okay, okay. I am. Uh, why am I? I can't sprint. Okay, this is not good. Let's um. Let's just keep moving. Okay. Has he gone? Okay. Why do I instantly just lose all of my hunger? By the way, the message is quite clear. Leave him alone. I'm not going to though. Okay, he didn't appear. He did appear. That's it. We're all right. We're all right. Get that one. Yes, I got two. Nice. Oh, okay. Why has it just gone really dark and started raining? I have no idea. Is he behind me? I can't even see. Where is he? He is behind me. There's two of them. What? Why is there two of them? Are you kidding me? One is bad enough. Never mind two. Anyway, I'm just going to continue searching for these notes. But it's now pouring it down. It's dark. Every time he appears, I lose all my hunger so I can't sprint. This is not fun at all. Oh, no. Here we go. He didn't appear? We're good. Oh, he's there. Can I hit him? No, I can't. Oh, it's even worse when I can't hit him. Does eating work? Okay, I can sprint a little bit. I'm finding quite a few. I don't know if there's a certain amount. We've got a name tag. Nice. Okay. If I just kind of get it and move. <gasps> Are you still there? Okay, never mind. Never mind. That doesn't work. Oh, okay. Parkour SP. That's it. Go back on yourself. Give him the loop to loop. I think we lost him. At least I hope we lost him. What is this? Hidden in the depths. Oh, we got ancient debris from that. Okay, that's good. It's going to be here, though. Don't know where, but I just know somewhere. Problem is, this guy's probably not the only thing lurking out here as well. And it's the fact that I just can't see anything that makes it awful. Oh, wait. If I leave the Slender Forest, I can see again. What was that? I just see things moving. I'm going to try and go to sleep. Okay. That makes things a lot easier to see. And I'm going back in, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. It just starts raining again straight away. Okay. Let's try and get more notes. And we can get gapples from this, actually, which is good. Just don't like the fact that... Where is it? Get back. Can I hit him? He seems to be going backwards as I knock him. I don't know if I... I, I want to try and defeat him if I can, but I don't know if he is... If it's even possible. Oh, there's another one. Nice. I don't know what the slender apples do, by the way. Can I eat a slender apple? <gasps> He's here. Oh! Okay. 
I didn't know there was a massive drop there. I don't think he came down with me, did he? Let's eat these ant slender apples, see what happens. Oh, it gives you good hunger at least. <gasps> Stop it every time. Okay, you know, I can't. There's no point in me trying to hit him. I just gotta run when I see him. Oh, wait, I'm out. And I'm back in. <laughs> I've gotta keep getting these notes. I don't know if there's a certain amount. Oh, there's a creeper. Okay, well, that's not good. Oh, there's loads of stuff. Okay, there's a lot of mobs. I'm actually starting to lose a bit of health as well. And I can't regen because he keeps putting my hunger down. Oh, he's hitting me a lot now. Where is it? Get away from me. Okay, I'm just holding the totem. That's a safe, safe move. Get away. Never have I ever been so close to death. I think I need to try and get some gapples down me. That's probably the only way out of this. That's it. Eat them. I really thought I was done for then. Okay, I, I, to be honest, I am starting to really not enjoy this. Just hear thunder going off. Just the way that you do it. There he is. So every time I get a note, he comes after me more and more. And he seems to be getting more and more aggressive as well. He was really aggressive before. I'm in water. Can he get me in water? Or am I safe? Looks like I'm safe, especially with my flippers. I think at this point, I need to try and get out of here. It's not a place I want to be. But if I see a note, I'm getting it. Oh, wait. Are we out? Will he follow me out? He will follow me out. I didn't think he would. Okay, let's move. We're good. Is he gone? He's gone. The Slender Forest is one very, very spooky place. Can we sleep to get rid of this thunderstorm? We can. Okay, that's fantastic. And you know what is interesting? I can go back towards the forest. I could grab a note. Wait, can I do it from here? I want the gapple. <gasps> He's here. Hello. Oh, well, I can see you in broad daylight. You're not so scary when it's not dark, mate. Oh, there's quite a few on the edge. I mean, I, I can't say no to grabbing them. Like, the slender apples will just look cool. Oh, but I've made it thunder again. Now, this is where it's going to be interesting. Because I can sleep again, and it becomes day 56. Then, I... I thought I was here, right? Then, I go back in. Make it to thunderstorm and go back to sleep. I mean, this is just a way to get the days going, which has zero use unless you're trying to do a hundred days challenge like me and trying to survive the whole lot. But yeah, I'd rather not do it that way. I'd rather it be more exciting. Also, these trees seem to be merging with this one. Can we? Is it going to appear? I s oh! He was taking damage and he just disappeared. Oh, it would have been great if he died. But well, maybe that's the way to defeat him. Put a load of blocks and watch him suffocate. You know what? I've got to try it, because I can't hit him, but maybe I can trap him in some blocks and defeat him that way. So we've got a note right here. We're not actually in the Slender Forest, which makes life easier. So we can place blocks all the way around. This is either going to work really well and be amazing, or he's going to escape and I'm going to regret everything. But it's all down. We'll go ahead, grab that. Is he in? I hear him, but I don't see him. So it kind of works. He stopped him from spawning, and I've just gone to the Slender Forest. Let me get out of there. But yeah, it didn't defeat him. That's a shame. Anyway, we will now continue exploring because I have the next place that I want to go. Now that I've faced Slenderman, Hero Brian, the man from the fog, the cave dweller. I've gone up against them all and lived to tell the tale. The rhinoceros on the other... No, I'm just kidding. I ain't doing that. No, instead, we're going to go somewhere that I've never been before. We are going to go to the Aether. Well, before that, I think I'm going to go to sleep because I'm just sick of there being mobs everywhere. But yeah, I've never played the Aether mod before, which is kind of crazy considering how popular it is. And there's a few scary things added to it as well, just to make it a little bit more terrifying. I also seem to have come to another slender forest, right? I don't want it to thunderstorm again. So instead, I'm going to go in this direction, and the goal is to head to the nether. You see, to get to the aether, we need glowstone to make a portal and a water bucket. And where'd you find glowstone? Yep, you guessed it, in the nether. So that's why we're going there. As you can see in this sack, we have three obsidian, but I need seven more. On top of that, I'm really going to need to collect some more food. I don't want to be eating golden apples just so I can sprint. No, instead, pigs can be on the menu. And I will need to craft a new smoker. I think I threw it out for some reason. Good thing they're literally one of the easiest things to get in the world. And now with a few pork chops to my name, the hunt for lava can continue. And I'll make sure to collect more food as I travel as well. Operation Fine Lava has been successful. And I might as well make a portal the quick way with a bucket. Yep, it doesn't get any easier than that. I actually don't think I have a way to light it, so we're gonna have to do the old-fashioned light it with lava strategy where I placed loads of wood, which has successfully happened extremely fast. Okay, the nether. What do we- oh, of course- well, of course we're just over a lava pit. Uh, you know, that just makes complete sense. What on earth is that around me? I'm going back. I don't want to see that, okay? I don't want to fall in lava. I admit, maybe that reaction was a little extreme, but I'm going to just get myself more- but there's a whale there again. Wow, that's close to the shore. Did they eat squid? Wait, did he just suck him in his mouth? No way. Anyway, I've sorted another bottle out. I think I just need more food. I've got one pork chop. We're just in the worst place for it. Maybe this shipwreck can help me. Oh, it can. Look at all the carrots and potatoes. I, you know what? I'll take the wheat as well because bread could be handy. But of course, the main attraction are carrots because I can use that to craft golden ones. On these 10 pork chops, I completely forgot that I had. Okay, you know, we're not actually not looking too bad for food. We'll be fine. We've got bread, we've got pork, and seagull. Oh no, it just dropped me feathers, never mind. And here, Bright. Oh, you know what? You don't scare me anymore, mate. That's right. 
Okay, I don't know why you have to do that to me. Anyway, let's just set up a baked potato. Okay, a little bit better prepared this time. I'm going in, got my totem in hand, so if I fall in the lava, I'll... See, you know what? I knew something like this would happen. This is why I was afraid, all right? Let's, let's just go up here. Where can I go? Have I got a pearl still? Let's go for it. Pearl over there. That's it. That'll get me out. I guess being near the lava is not good. I don't know what those obsidian pillars are. Right. We came for glow. It's so dark here. Oh, man, it's just chasing me. Right. You know what? You want to you wanna fight? Come on, then. Oh, here you are. You're stuck. Right. Bring it on. Is that all it took? Two hits? Just a nine more than anything. Although, it looked like it got stuck on land, so that's good news. I'm now going to have to use this time to get another ender pearl, because ender pearls are just handy to have. What are those things? They're like giant waspy mosquitoes. And now they're coming for me. Look, guys. Okay. What are you doing? Get off me. I don't like this one bit. Okay, we got rid of one. And now the Enderman's angry as well. Get in the boat. What are you doing? Get out of here. The Enderman's in the boat. These weird mosquitoes have been defeated. Oh, this is a nightmare. I just came here for glowstone. Instead, I got a creepy dark nether. That does, at the very least, contain some glowstone. So we don't have to worry. We just have to get mining. And I don't really know if there's any reason for me to stay around here. We've got another pearl. Maybe if I found a fortress, it could be useful for me to go to the end. I don't know. But in my opinion, that's just something I should worry about later on. Because right now, I'm going to the Aether. And doing that means getting across this lava to that portal. Hoping that one... I was about to say one of those weird stringy things doesn't do that to me. Okay, I, are we, I mean, we I can't get out now, can I? I don't know why fire only hurts me some of the time and not all the time. It's a bit of a weird one. Right, he's probably going to come out again. This time I'll be ready for him. There's actually two. Yeah, this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it, getting back over there? Got rid of them both. In that time, everything burnt up. Good job I've got a lot of wood, isn't it? It's just going to have to be a bit of speed bridge, isn't it? Before they before they can get me. Okay, just about ran out, but we're good. If I'd had over 80 blocks left, I definitely didn't nearly run out. And it's nice to be back here. I, I you know, I took this place for granted. So, we need to put down some glowstone in the shape of a nether portal. I've never done this before, but I've seen countless videos of people doing it, whether it's a meme or not. So I think that's how it works. Let's get some sleep before we do what else. And then I think if I put water in, it does work. Okay, finally, we're finally gonna do this. I've never experienced that, okay? You might have, but I never have. And what will meet me on the other side? I have absolutely no idea. We're here. Hostile paradise. Well, this looks kind of nice. Hello, sheep. See you later. Okay, that was not nice to me. Wait, if I fall down there, do I die? I don't think there's any coming back from the void. What is that? A floating whale. Very, very interesting and very, very strange indeed. Now, I need to try and remember where this aether portal is. And I see a black void inside there, so I, I want to go and check it out. I also like the way the land is connected by cloud bridges. That's kind of cool. You've got to remember, guys, I've not really seen much of this mod and I've never played it. So... I'm, I'm quite enjoying this. I don't know if Hero Brian can come here. I don't exactly know what scary things are lurking in these kind of dark spaces. Apparently, torches are... <gasps> okay. Straight away, I, I don't know what I'm being hit by. What? See, you know, it's just stuff like this. Like, what is happening to me? No idea. It seems to be wearing off. As long as it wears... Sorry, I didn't mean to do that, Fly. Okay, I was just hitting everything. But yeah, I don't know what kind of things are lurking. I can't go into a dark room. Obviously. What is this? You're a cow. Do you, do you drop food? Don't try and... Don't fly off. Oh, you do? Okay, well, that's, that, you know, that's something good. And there's another one here. They're actually very, very cool, aren't they? Interesting that torches can't be placed. That That is very strange. The sheep that float. Yeah, you know what? The more I see of this place, the crazier it gets. Are those cloud guys nice? They're looking at me like they're not nice. Okay. Well, that's one way to nearly die. I, do I have water? I need to be clutched. Can I place water? Well, at least we can place something. But yes, SP, watch out for the cloud men. Hello, sheep. The cloud men are dangerous, right? Just don't get hit by them, all right? Because we don't want to get flung off again. But really, I want to try and get across that bridge. There is also some structure just at the top of here. What exactly is it? I have no idea. Is this a cloud that I can build on? I think it is. Nice. I can. I can use it. <gasps> can I? Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're not. We're not dead. I thought I was going to fall through to the void then. <laughs> i got to be more careful than just jumping on things willy-nilly, haven't I, really? Okay, what is that tornado thing? There seems like there's more scary things here. Can I just hit it? Okay, I can just get caught up in it. Wait, will you take me upwards? Nope. Okay, what are you? We've got rabbits. Let's just build up. Let's not mess around. Let's just build up to the top and see what it is. I really love these. They're really cool. And at this point, I have no idea what this is, but let's go in. Okay. Okay, okay. That's hilarious. Chests that aren't really chests. How much health have you got, mate? Are you... Okay, you got a lot of health. What, oh, wait. Has he dropped some stuff? A golden dart. Can I use this? I don't think so. And are all chests like this? Oh, no. Some of them are actually nice. What are you? Not going easy on me, eh? All right. Well, I'll I'll show you... Well, okay. You've got a lot of health. Did you drop anything? A victory medal. Well, isn't that great? I don't I just love victory medals. Ambrosium torch. Wait, is this a torch I can use here? 
It is. Okay, there's just a lot of these guys spawning now. You know what? I'm just going to move away because they do pack a bit of a punch. I don't even know if I need to hit them. Maybe I'm just... <gasps> okay, I'm low. I'm low, I'm low, I'm low. I'm too hot. Oh, no, there's another one. Stop spawning all of you, please. Eat your golden carrots. <gasps> okay, well, we're totem now. All right, well, that's not great. You know what? What if I leave? What if I just... <gasps> Okay, go, go, go. Go, SP. There's loads of them now. They're, they're, they're coming in the swarms. Just look at them all. What is the big idea? What, what have you guys got against me? Probably a few things. Let's let's just get down here. Oh, not the cloud guys. Oh, they're going to knock me off now. This place is kind of stressful. Let's go and get that totem in and head somewhere else. You know what? I'd like to take one of these cloud guys on. See if I can defeat it. Hit it with a few... Will you put me down? I'm in the middle of something here. As I was saying, I'd like to try and defeat you over there, Nemesis. Can't miss from here. Oh, yes. Oh, he got him. What does he drop? And if, wait, did he drop those cool cloud blocks? Yes. Is this is this it? <gasps> the best block ever. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Is that what's down there? Okay, I'm just going to go back through here. And it is nighttime. What is looking at me over there? Is it him? <gasps> it is him. Can we get him in? Oh, imagine if I could send him to the Aether. That would be so cool. Anyway, I'm, I'm just going to go to sleep. Have another look around here. Just see if there's anything interesting. I just don't want to go too far from my portal because I don't want to get trapped here and not know how to get back. There's definitely plenty of cool structures around to explore. And there's flying pigs. Pigs with wings. Can <laughs> really bring the same when pigs fly to life? What I want to know is if you punch them off a cliff, do they fly down? <gasps> We've got flying pigs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's one of the coolest things ever. Apparently in that building, those mobs that I was fighting are called Valkyries. And if you defeat 10 of them and get 10 victory medals, you can fight the Valkyrie Queen, which on defeating will give you a key and give you some very, very OP armor. I think I've got to go back to finish the job. I'm not interested in all this other stuff. Just want to make sure I've got plenty of totems. And I'm actually going to head back through this portal and set up a little area to upgrade my helmet and my boots. I had to craft new ones of them, but I've got 45 levels and a lot of books. So if I go ahead and grab a load of jungle wood, it's a lot harder to mine wood in the air, though. that's why I'm, I'm, I'm here. But yeah, now that I've got those, I can build this and get some much better upgrades. And at this point, I think I'm as ready as I'll ever be. So let's go and see if I can defeat the Valkyrie Queen. And I know I left this place in terror last time, but this time I'm feeling much more confident that I can successfully do what needs to be done. Now I can only guess that I accidentally got rid of my one medal. So they don't fight yet. Okay, they're friendly. They, they fight with honor. Unless you start attacking them and then it's a proper battle. But if you really, you know, got some, some strafes about you. Okay, but this way loads of them spawn. Just don't hit the other one. Yeah, and then you get the medal. We got one, and we do the same to you. So, you know, I kind of feel evil, really. I'm, I'm not very nice to him, am I? As long as they only attack one at once, this should be very doable. I mean, look, they do a lot of damage. But I've defeated worse things in my time. I also want to know what happens if you, if you go like this. Can you, wait, can you place boats? You, tell, you can't place boats, right? Of course you can. You just can't put them in a boat. Okay, the developers aren't stupid. And so far, I'm up to six medals. Make that seven, eight, nine... And ten. Now I want the Valkyrie Queen. Where is she? Because I want the OP armor. Oh, there's an opening it. There you are. Okay, well, I've got your ten medals, but just give me a moment. I'm just going to cook some food. It, I, I like the way that we don't just go to battle straight away. It's more of a duel than a battle. There you go. Look, I, I wish to fight you. There you go. I've given you the medals. Okay, here, Brian, what are you doing there, of all things? Now is a bad time. I didn't know he could get here. Can we do it now? You have a lot of health. Okay, well... Valkyrie Queen, let's see. Okay, you do a lot of damage. All right, we, well, we've got to be got to be smart about this. We've taken out some of her health. And I've got plenty of gapples, so I should use them. And to be honest, it's all about aim. When she flies towards me... Okay, well, there's a new there's a new attack. Forget it, it's not about aim. There's more to it. But yeah, when she flies towards me, I've just got... Oh, there we go. Oh, can we hit those back at her? Oh, that would be really good if we can and we do more damage. It's all about those strafes, though, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. What are the combos? Yeah, that's right. Also, just realized I've gone down to basically no health. Eat another gapple. Let's do it. Okay, half a heart. All right. You know what? This ain't going so easy. Why is a tree just growing in the corner? That's more to the point. Oh, well, there goes the first totem. Let's just get a gapple down and let's get... Oh, okay. I need to just be more skilled at this. Put that totem in. Okay, good. We're all fine. It seems to be getting a little bit better as time goes. Oh, I feel like I've got you in an epic combo now. I've got to remember to eat. That's how battles are won and lost. Almost at a quarter health. Okay, that, that thing needs to go away. I've got down to half a heart again. Come on, SB, don't pop a totem. Just get that gapple up and then go again. It does do a lot of damage every time she hits you. And another totem's gone. Okay, uh, you know what? I think I can do this without the final totem. Oh, someone's broken. Piece of armor. <gasps> this is bad now. A piece of armor's broken. Oh, get that totem down, SB. Okay, good, good, good. Keep moving. I think maybe a helmet broke. But I could be wrong. I wasn't paying attention. Now I need to make sure I don't get hit at all. I'm so close to the finish. But I'm very weak as well. Come on. Yes, we did it. Dethroned. And we have got 
the silver key. This is a secret compartment and open. And here's the key. We put it in. <gasps> We've got all the good stuff. A Valkyrie helmet, Valkyrie boots, leggings, invisibility cloak. I don't know how we put that on. It seems this is basically the equivalent of diamond armor, which is very nice indeed. And the lightning sword looks like it could be so useful. And gummy gummy sweats, they give you so much hunger. Wow, I should say so much saturation. Either way, that's very cool. Can we mine out of here? Oh, we can as well. Well, I have to say, defeating a boss in the Aether, that was pretty good. I may come back because it is pretty easy to get here just with a glowstone portal. But I also wouldn't mind getting back home. Are you kidding me? One of these slimes follow me. I can't go anywhere now. Anyway, as I was saying, I'd like to get back home to add protection to this helmet. Then I can remove this portal and keep exploring. What have we got here? I've <laughs> just been exploring the hills, finding lots of coal. And there's some sort of very cool looking structure up ahead. And according to the advancement, it's the ancient mines. Cast behind and enter. What does that mean? <gasps> it's him. It's two. Wait, wait, what? whoa, whoa. whoa. There's, there's only meant to be one of you. Apparently he can now duplicate himself. Can I just mine in? Oh, I can. Okay. Here we are. What on earth is going on over there? What are they mining? What are they doing? Do I really want to do this? Of course I want to do this. Okay, what's, are we prepared? Maybe a bow would be smart. Can we just sneak around? Ah, oh, well, that didn't work. Let's instead just go around this way. It's also kind of dark down here. Do you think you'll mind if I just wander past? Hi, old buddy, old pa Oh, he's gone. I hear a noise. What's in here? Coal? I don't really need the iron, but I guess I'll take it. What's going on now? He's just mining thin air. Wait, I thought it was going dark outside. Let me go up to him again. What is going on here? Oh, there's a way down. Okay, it's gone dark. I'll go to sleep and then I'll go down. I'm going to sleep outside tonight. That feels safer to me. Right, down the ladder we go. Please tell me there's water. There is water there. Okay. What have we got at the bottom here? I just don't like the fact I can hear a lot of footsteps. It's very unnerving. It's somewhere around... What's going on in here? There's a lot of silverfish. Hero brain silverfish. There's everything down here. Oh, nuggets of experience. Nice. I kind of just want to keep going down deeper and deeper. Look how far it goes. And there's not really an easy way down here. I'm thinking if we just use a few blocks. We've got a water bucket. If we need to do like an MLG or anything, we can. I mean, we can. why don't we just do it? You know, I'm, I'm SP737. I can do an MLG. And there's, oh, okay. You know, why did I just jump straight in? Well, guys, here I am. Let's just try and disable some spawners. There is a lot. What on earth is this place? Wow, I didn't think it was going to be this big. It is literally crawling with spiders. Okay, don't come up here, guys. All right, we're, we're just going to block it so that they can't. I did not expect to see that when I came down here. And you assume that this means that there is a lot of amazing loot down here. So, there's only one way to find out. What's in here? Okay, uh, okay, there's a lot of good stuff in there. I'm just going to take the hits from you. I can I can do it. Anything there? Well, I want to know what that... Whoa, okay, I'm getting a little bit crowded. I want to know what that orange thing is. A, la a lava bottle? What? Sorry. Break some spawners. Good XP. There's even more loot right here. Oh, look at it. Diamonds as well. Kind of want to test out the lightning... Oh, the lightning sword is insane. Be smited, you spiders. A honeyed apple. That's kind of cool. I think I shall eat it. You sure you want to do this? Yeah, that's right. I feel like the good stuff is somewhere around here. I just don't know what it is. I mean, a lodestone's kind of cool, but... Is it really just a throne? I guess it could be. I mean, whichever way you look at it, it's a very cool build. I mean, look at even the chains hanging from the top. And I haven't even explored all the little rooms as well. Oh, there's stuff in here. I don't know what the, the red particles are. Anything good? Obsidian pressure plates. They just look cool. And gold bars instead of iron ones? Yes. And maybe up here there's much more to see. I don't see any other way out. Okay, I've not been through here. What are you? Like a... <laughs> what are you? Please tell me. I guess we'll never know. But there is more to explore around here. More spawners. More diamonds. And a brand new anvil. This actually appears to connect to a brand new cave, which is quite cool. You know who I'd like to see in this cave? Maybe for a little rematch. The cave dweller. This time, I can use the lightning sword. It's actually a very large and very eerie cave. I mean, that doesn't... That hasn't gone away, has it? Oh, and does it just connect up to the big cave? Oh, no. Wait, is this his own place? What is this? Is it a mineshaft? It looks really epic. I don't know why, but this just doesn't look like normal Minecraft. It must be, but it, it just doesn't look like it. What have we got down here? I think I should use this opportunity to see if I can add a little something to it. Oh, yeah, a bit of sharpness. What is that noise? Because it wasn't just you. Oh, it's, it's one of those. It's okay. Let's get all these, by the way. And I do think that if I use the tools that I've got here, I should be able to deal with the cave dweller. You know, it's striking with lightning and all that good stuff. There's also a random spawn here. Is it one of those red ones? Oh, I don't like those. They're just so much effort. I suppose if I use my bow, it's, it's not too bad. Oh, there was damage. There was hero bright. I've just seen so much here. All right, in that case, prepare to be lightning. Because I like to get these diamonds. Maybe a dark little cave, but I can go to sleep. And then continue exploring this massive 
Airy cave. Like, I'm hoping to find diamonds, but I, most of all, I'm hoping to run into Cave Dweller. I'm up for this. Okay, well, we got the diamonds. We got a good vein of them, too. But where is the guy that's really scary? Oh my goodness, that was a lot of creepers. And now that I have no totems left, it's probably in my best interest to grab an iron ingot and make a new shield. And whilst I'm at it, I also have an Unbreaking 3 book, which should make it last a lot longer. Another diamond, not bad. Make that four. It's him, my nemesis. Most people go the other way, but not SP737. I've battled you once and beaten you, and I'll do it again, mate. Yeah, I see you. You see me. Okay, why did I make it a charge creeper? That was not the smartest move in the world. Come on then, here he comes. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Now we've got the reach. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, get smited. That's right, a bit of lightning never. Okay, don't get me in a corner. That's not what... Oh, the lightning sword destroyed him. SP is... The... What are you doing? I did just see Hero Brian, right? I'm, I'm not seeing things. I feel like this is the kind of sword that Hero Brian would have. But yes, I've now proved once and for all... That SP737 is now the master of these caves. And so on that note, I, I think I'm ready to get out of here. Why is it always raining after you go caving? At least I can sleep to get rid of it. And I think now I'd like to try and beat the game and see what scary things are involved with that. I've barely scratched the surface of what's in the nether and I've not even begun to see what's going to be in the end. So the first step to that is to make another portal. I, of course, didn't bring the obsidian with me. I still only have three pieces. So it's now Operation Find a Lava Lake and this gives me cooked food. It's amazing. Well, when the cows are attacking me. The a cow is doing a lot of damage, you know. I'm, I'm going to die to a cow. That's not something I thought I would ever say, by the way. Why is it dropped loud? Oh, my boots broke. I'm, oh, my leggings are nearly going to break. That explains a lot. And so I should probably get them repaired. Ever feel like you're being watched, guys? Yeah, he doesn't know. But I see... That's so weird. I could have sworn there was somebody watching me. Anyway, less of that. I've got to try and find some lava. I am not having much success finding this lava. Like, I have found a village and... Okay, well, apparently I've... Found something a bit bigger than a village as well. But anyway, the reason I highlight the village is because sometimes I think you can get obsidian in the blacksmiths. Well, I know you can get them in the blacksmith chests of other types of villages, but I don't know if it includes this one. Anyway, it's, it just goes dark so fast, doesn't it? Although it started raining at the perfect time, because now... Oh, uh, he's just behind the tree. I'm not going to sleep and having him watch me while I sleep. I'm going around the corner. But yeah, going to sleep has nicely stopped that rain. If I'd have slept just a few seconds earlier, it could have been worse. And look at this. A little camp at the bottom. I wonder if there's something useful down there. Maybe that's worth... Checking out. Load of pillagers. Not what I was thinking was going to be useful. Okay, and he just completely crunched my health. Everything just it seems to be taking up so much of my heart. Which, as you can imagine, is not a good thing. Is this the same? Okay, this is, is this a different village or just a, 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 a chest on its own? I really can't tell, but it was nice to find a couple of diamonds. Although, I, say, I seem to have lost that massive castle place. I don't know where it went. Only I could lose something that big in a forest. You're kidding me. How have I ended up in a slender fight? Right, don't touch the notes, SP. Don't be tempted. But you know when you feel like you've just been going in one direction, but you end up going in circles? It's strange. I've, I've left it already. That's good. I was about to get that note as well, but I'm, I'm not going to anyway. I've, I've, well, we're back with the rain anyway, and the thunder. Aha! There it is. A wolf. If only I had bones. I, I just haven't gotten it. Could have had my second wolf for the night. Although, there's got to be... Did somebody just... Oh! Get him, boys! That's it. That's it. As a team. I actually... Get him. In the back. We got some bones. Come on. Two bones. You earned these. One bone. Oh, look at this. He's lying down as well. They lie down. Oh, that's great. Right, you lie down. I'm going to go to sleep because I don't really want there to be mob spawning like this. All right, come on, boy. We're going up here. I don't know what happened to my last dog. It just completely disappeared. What? Wait, have I been to one of these before? Oh, it's a villager home. Okay, it's a friendly place. That makes a change. A friendly place with all sorts. Ooh, lots of cool stuff, yeah. Can't say no to the XP nuggets. Man's alone at 45. I mean, it only gets you a couple of levels, but it's still better than nothing. And there's not too much more to see here, but with that, Operation Fine Lava can continue. And at least I've, I've got a little friend to come with me now. Whoa! What's going on? Get back! Get away from it! No! <laughs> I didn't even get to name him and he died already. That's it. No more pets in this video. I am just going to try and go to the nether. Still not found any lava, but I found something better. A ruined portal. One way or another, this will allow me to go to the nether. And there's a load of iron in here too. So I'll remove the crying obsidian and then I can complete the portal, light it with a fire charge and head through. And I have of course got to remember that I don't have a totem. It's very dark down here. What is that? Okay, it's just a, a purple sword. Now the mission is to try and find a fortress, which will be a challenge because it is very, very dark. 
But on a positive note, I do have a looting two gold sword, which means I can get loads of ender pearls. And once I've got rid of this fella, I should have all the pearls that I need. And now to travel the land in search of that fortress. And these obsidian pillars could actually be quite useful. But they will be as long as that guy doesn't reach me. Because now I don't have to go back to my original one. Instead, when I'm done, I can build a new portal somewhere else. I found one. Perfect. Gonna get the looting sword handy. Then I can hopefully find some blaze, but it is very dark. I also like the fact that the fortress has gold bars everywhere. It adds a nice bit of colour to it. I've also successfully found the blazes. And my sword just broke. So no more looting, but I already got seven. And this eighth one will be perfect. Somewhere around here should be a good spot to build a portal. But my only issue now is I need a way to light it. So I'm gonna build it right here. Lose the water, take some lava. And then get the wood to set on fire. That's been mission accomplished. Got the old subspace bubble. I can craft some eyes. Throw them. And it looks like this is the direction of the stronghold. Well, on my travels across, I still haven't come to the stronghold yet, but I've found this. I don't know how I go inside it, but ooh, it looks very fancy. And there is the front door. Surprise, but oh, it's the illusion. My, I hate the illusion. I still do not know how to fight it to this day. Let me just get my lightning sword ready. That ought to get you. See, you never know which is the real one. Okay, well, lightning soon finds it, though. That's right. Set you on fire. You can't get away now, can you? And what is this? He was number one. It doesn't look like it's very useful. Is it a helmet or something? Well, it looks cool. If nothing else... Okay, I should probably deal with you guys. Sorry, guys. Apparently, I'm, I'm burning the house down. It's not too much of interest. Just some random loot. So, I'll leave this place to burn down and continue heading towards the stronghold. I'm now very close to it based on where the eye's going. In fact, right about here is the spot. We're in. Fantastic. And I like this torch. It looks very cool. Although it's still very, very dark. I hate going underground in this mud pack. And now I've just got to try and track down the portal room. Oh, wait. I've already done it, I think. Yes, we just saw it there. Oh, I like the chest as well. Let's deal with you and try and not summon a million of you guys. We'll get rid of that. Why, why is the stronghold generator different? You never normally get two entrances into a portal room. Very strange. There's no eyes. I have used all five. However, we have loads more here. Don't you worry. I can get them all down. And it is ready. We are ready, I think. We've got the bow, we've got the arrows, we've got the sword of lightning. Let's do it. I don't know what's going to be through it. I, number one. You know what? We're not using this, this this number one thing. It's not as good as the helmet that I've got here. So I should stick to what I know. Anyway, through we go. And straight away, this is going to be tricky because I can't see. Oh my goodness. Look who's here. What's he doing? I have no clue. All I know is that he is in the dimension lurking around. It's also going to be very hard not to look at Enderman. It's so dark. So I'm just going to shoot the pillars to get this done as quickly as possible. Whoa, oh no. It's him. What are you doing here? No way you're here. Well, I've faced you once. I'll face you again. This time I won't let you escape either. You think you could just... Oh, I don't like this. Hero Brian's here. The night dwellers here. What else am I going to find? Anyway, that's the last of the pillars gotten rid of. So let's pull down and get busy so that we can finish the job. Yes, with lightning. And I'm also going to blow a bed up in its face as well. That ought to do some damage. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I have defeated it all with the lightning. It looked epic. And now I'm going to explore this place a bit more to see if I can find an end city. Oh my goodness, those guys. I don't know what they are, but they look like they're going to get me killed. And what on earth is that? I have no idea, but what I do know is I'm going to need a lot of blocks. So I'm going to make a load of slabs and get busy bridging. Hopefully not to my doom. Well, I've made it and I still can't see anything. I don't think there's anything in it. I think it's just a cool place to explore. And that up there does look like an end city. It does look like one with an electro is annoying. I don't even know what these little things are. They're like... <laughs> They're very strange, that's all I know. But I shall head in, see what loot they've got. And these are like literal ender chests. Are they purple chests or something? They look kind of cool. Crystal heart. Wait, is this going to increase my health? Oh, it does. It gives me an extra five. That's amazing. Can't say no. Oh, my well, he's still here. But yeah, I can't say no to extra health. I'm now going to have to go and search for another one that actually has the Elytra. This one looks a bit more promising. It's actually generated inside one of these massive mounds. It's so weird. But as long as I can get the Elytra, I don't mind. It looks like I can. I just can't really get in through the front door. Instead, it's the old fashioned method of float your way up. Mission accomplished. Just got to get past this fellow, which, you know, no problem. I don't know where he went. Is he up there? Ah, you can't escape, mate. It's no use. Let's get these. This is going to help so much. And a prop for, you know what? That's, that's got to go now. This helmet is better. Still don't know why I can't put gloves on in the glove slot, but now I can fly back and try and find an end gateway to lit. Wait, is that an end gateway there? Wow, I was literally just up there as well. This is perfect. It's all falling into place. I can get through, grab the egg and get home. And of course, it's dark and raining. It's always dark and raining. And on top of that, I have no bed because I use it to blow up the ender dragon. So I, yeah, I'm going to get some wood and try and stay alive until I can find some sheep to make a bed. Well, I have found one. Unfortunately, it's a hero prime one. Hold on. I can make some shears. It's going to do some hits. I don't think it'll do much damage though. Yeah, it, it, it can't be that bad. Shear you. That's right. Not so tough now, are you? And then I'm going to have to get rid of you. 
and it's multiplying. What's going on? That's it. Blow them all up. And there's my friend. He saw what happened to his sheep. And when I shared it, it only dropped one wool. Are you kidding me? Well, at least there's another one over here. Let's get you. Oh, we got what we need. I can make the bed. He is very active tonight. I keep seeing him loads. And now I can sleep where it's safe at the bottom of the ocean. And at this point, my main goal is to get gunpowder and also sugar cane. Perfect. I can craft some firework rockets and explore the world much easier. Some sort of giant tree or something over there. And also this little place. There might be gunpowder inside. You never know. Another of these sacks. Well, that's handy. Really lets me free up more inventory space. Looting too. I can add that to my sword. Although there's sadly no gunpowder up here. I'm also over encumbered. Must be because I'm carrying too many sacks. I'll just have to put one of them down. Sorry, I can't take them all. Two sacks is all my tiny muscles can carry. But yeah, this place is very cool. With gunpowder. Okay, that's perfect. Because now I can make a lot more rockets. And explore the world even more. I found a village I can ransack for food because I've run out. And at this point, as the sun sets, I'm not really finding anything new. Just structures that I've already seen. However, I feel like I've kind of beaten from the fog now because anytime there's any danger, whether that's Herobrine, the man from the fog, or something else, I can just fly up and away and I'm completely safe. Yes, the Elytra changes everything. And as I wake up, it is now day 100. And so that, ladies and gentlemen, was 100 days in Minecraft from the fog.